welcome to the complete course Azure Machine Learning. Till now, we have created a free Azure account. We have also learned about the architecture of Azure Machine Learning. Right? Now, we will learn how to create a workspace. In our previous lecture, we have also learned how the workspace contains all the experiments, managing, link services, and the storage account. Now we will see the practical. So once your, your free account has been created, this is the home page which you can see, right? So here what we are going to do it here whenever we are creating any machine learning services, we need to create a resource. So this is for a create resource. What all the resources you have created? It will come into a recent resources if you are a first time or you have just created your subscription as a free trial this would be an empty for you so don't worry just go along with me and then you can see how do we create a resource group and under the resource group how do we create a workspace and integrate the compute resources how do we uh, train the model, do the pre-processing and deploy it into a production, right? So let's get started. So first of all, we need to create a resource from the Azure service. Once we'll create, this is a marketplace wherein you can search for our Azure resources. As of now, we need to create a machine learning Azure resources. So I will search for a machine learning and I can click it over here. Yes, this machine learning from the Microsoft is a resource that I am looking for. And then just click create and here it will ask for a few details. So the subscriptions is free trial. The resource group, I have a predefined resource group. However, if it is a first time, you can create a resource group. What is resource group? So resource group is just like a folder wherein all your resources reside, right? So I'll create a new resource and this is, uh, I'll create a demo. Okay, so it has already been created, right? So now what we can do it, we can write demo 11, right? Once it is created, just click okay. My new resource group with the name demo 11 would be over here. Now. As we have seen that to start with my entry point is to create a workspace. So under the resource group, we need to create a workspace. Here I will create a workspace with the name of demo ML. Demo ML workspace, right? As you have seen that uh, I'll just do it once more. Previously, it was nothing over here, but now when I click on demo ML workspace, my storage account, my key vault and the application inside will automatically will create it with a prefix of demo ML workspace and the few random uh, numbers which will give a uniqueness of this accounts, right? So I'll keep it as it is. However, if you want to create a meaningful name you can also create just by clicking the create new right it will help you to create a new and give the meaningful name coming up the region where do you want to create a your uh, this workspace where do you want to create your workspace which region here we have a lots of region we have uh, central india east asia east us east us too right so for a demo purpose, I'll just take a default as East US 2. Here, once it will be done, I'll just click on the next. In next, there are two connectivity network methods. One is a public endpoint. What is public endpoint? You can connect to your workspace either publicly or privately using an endpoint. So if you'll create, uh, click on the private endpoint, it will ask for more details. So you need to give more details over here but for a demo purpose uh, we just use the public endpoint wherein we can use our workspace publicly across the Azure resources 
and then we will click next advance uh, here also the encryption key can be managed by two ways one is a microsoft managed and another is a customer managed so if you already have some uh, keys you will need to select that keys however uh, as of now for a simplicity purpose we will use a microsoft managed key right now uh, you will just click on next button here you can give the tag value as of now we are just skipping this part and now we will just uh, click on next and here it will validate whether the workspace of what we have created contains e, uh, a valid name or not and it will just check the validate do the validation so once the validation is done it will show over here the validation passed and once this is done you just need to create this resource with a new workspace so i'll just click on this create button and Show you over here that it will initialize the deployment it will take around 5 to 10 minutes to deploy this resource into your azure account so here if you'll see your deployment is in process we can see the resource group name which we have given is as a demo 11 the skip subscription was free trial and once it will deployed it will give as a deployment completed so now when we have created a new workspace under this uh, resource group demo 11 few of the dependent resources right these dependent resources would get automatically created as we have seen while creating it right so it has created now oh, my azure deployment is uh, creating a workspace along with this dependency dependent uh, uh what you can say as a key vault or uh, dependent storage so now if you see over here my demo ml workspace is in process it is accepted and now it will get created right so i'll just come back i'm just keeping this video on work and once it will get complete i'll again come back here we go our deployment is completed right so once your deployment is completed just click on go to resource so once you click on uh, go to resource you can see your demo ml workspace has been created now how to use this demo workspace and what are the different features of this workspace we will look in our next chapter thank you